to Tommy we're about to do. Mm-hmm. Are you okay? Are you, can you say your name out loud? Are you blinking once for yes, twice for no? Jules, are you okay? We're about to do blink twice. Oh my gosh. You know, that's what I did when I bought my ticket. The girl said, and what are you here to see? And I went, you did not do that to that girl. Like, Excuse me. And I went, and she's like, she probably thought you had, and she I, had to communicate with you through her eyes and she probably didn't know. I you know, like, you had maybe special needs or something and she probably didn't realize she, you traumatized that poor girl. I did. I was like, I want to see Blink twice and I'm so sorry. My sense of humor is <laughs> She was probably like, what she the was what? like, oh my gosh, I didn't know what you were, I was wondering why you were blinking like that. Because she thought always something was wrong. Like, like, can you tell me who the current president is? I know it can. Can you say your name? I know. I saw it on a Thursday, which is the first day it came out. <laughs> and I know that, but you should have an idea of the movie names. No, Joe, I would not have gotten that. At your theater. When you're only showing about six different movies. You Girl, should know when I blink twice. That, that, that means blink twice. Blink twice. Girl, they don't have, sometimes I discover that sometimes they don't even know which movies are playing. Because I've gone up and been like, I want the movie, um, like I'll be, oh, I want the movie with such and such in it. Like uh, Nicolas Cage. And I'll be like, I like the movie with Nicolas Cage. Ryan Field. I want to see Ryan Field. Okay. I'm like, you guys, you're not even movie lovers? You work here and you're not a movie lover? They're not. Let me get a job at part. Let me Somewhere. go get a little part-time job at Hawkins and then reek all the benefits. And I, I, I know the movies. Ooh, I'll probably get free movies. I think they get free movies. You do. You do. They do. Maybe. Hey. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's job. talk about Blink Twice after Jules has um, absolutely traumatized the poor girl at the theater. I'm sorry, young lady. Probably had her thinking uh, she... <laughs> it's rated R. It's one hour, 42 minutes. Okay. It stars Naomi Aki as Frida. Where do we know her from? We know her from Whitney Houston. I want to dance with somebody. I knew she, it. I kept seeing. She played Whitney. That came I kept out in seeing. She looks like Brandy. Even in the, um, the movie, she looks like Brandy, but she's playing Whitney Houston, but she did the damn thing in that movie. And then. She did, but I just kept thinking, she don't look nothing like Whitney Houston. She looked like Brandy. And then I seen this, I was like, she looks like Brandy. I know her face from somewhere. Mm -hmm. But then I was looking, I was like, no, because her teeth are different than the character. That's because she had a spacer in. Uh, uh, a spacer uh, put uh, in. Space okay. Filler. That makes sense now. But she did a good job. So who else do we have in? Who's Channing the next Tatum as Slater. I'm sorry, Zoe Kravitz, but he was my total crush long before you knew him. I'm, I'm just pretty sure that Zoe's not worried about you. Well, forget you too then, Jules. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Gosh. She got him locked. Yeah, she they got talk about getting married. married. They talk about getting married. I don't like she, that. She made him star. She not made him. She had him star in her movie. They're like, Psh. okay, well, I'm not going to talk about that no more. I mean, you I know, he, just, about him, he just has to meet you. That's all. He just has to meet you. That's, that's the thing. He hasn't met me yet. So yeah. yes, he's thinking about marrying her. He's thinking about it. But that's I the mean, only reason I say he's not thinking about you because he doesn't, he doesn't, he doesn't know, know me though. You. Yeah. you said she's not thinking about me. She doesn't know me either. So she, right, right. She doesn't know I exist either. If she did, then she would be worried. She'd be that's worried. all I'm saying. She would. Because that's Channing Tatum. Okay. And this is the first movie I have to tell you. I love, you know, I love Channing Tatum. I just love him just uh, for superficial reasons. But I also, he's a, he's a decent actor. You know, he's a cool actor. I've seen him in a lot of different roles and all kind of different, all kinds of different stuff. But I just adore him. And I think he's just so, I just love him in uh, Magic Mike. We made a vibe that when the movie first came out, we figured there would probably be sequels. And me and my friend Tiny, we were like, we don't care what the plot is. The plot can absolutely suck. I know it's going to suck, and I don't care. We're going to be the first ones in the theater every time Magic Mike comes out. And he also has a show out in Vegas. He actually brought some of them here before, some of his male strippers. And I remember we watched the show, and it was all fun and, you know, exciting and all that. And they did some kind of intro they were going to do for one of the dancers. And I, because of the way the show was structured, thought that it was going to be him coming out. And I got super excited. I was like, oh my gosh, it's Channing. Tiny was like, it's not him. I was like, well, you, can y'all give me five seconds of joy? I think he was just there for the, for the grand opening or something, but that's about it. <sighs> yeah. Okay, well, I, I, I love him either way it goes. I'm going to see his movie. So who else something. do we have in here? I just had to go off on our rant. When we're talking you about sure Channing Tatum, it's going to be a rant. Ooh. Sorry. But, uh, uh, Aaliyah uh, Shawcat Sh Sh as yeah. Jess. Yeah, that was her BFF. Mm hmm. Christian Slater as Vic. Wait a minute. I didn't know that was Christian. I didn't even recognize him. Are you serious? 
serious? No, I didn't. I was looking at Shannon so much, I paid no attention to the other man. <laughs> wow. Wow. Yeah. I miss Kristen Slater. Yeah, you I've got to watch. Okay. I'm watch Simon again. Rex as Cody. Mm -hmm. Adria Ajorna as Sarah. Mm -hmm. And Gina Davis. I knew that was her. She's lost a lot of weight Stacey. or something. Something about her is she's smaller. Maybe it's her hair. Something about her is different, but I recognized her immediately. I was like, oh, hey. Yeah. It's Gina. Yeah. There's a lot of stars in this, but, mm -hmm. you know, I don't want to just sit here and be naming off names just for the whole review. Yeah. So. Okay, so this summary is on? directly from MGM. Okay, what's going on in the movie <clears throat> here? <clears throat> <clears throat> she has to get all worked up. And when massage. tech billionaire Slater King, Channing Tatum, meets cocktail waitress Frida, Naomi Aki, at his fundraising gala, Sparks Fly, he invites her to join him and his friends on a dream vacation on his private island. Mm -hmm. It's paradise. Mm -hmm. Wild nights blend into sun-soaked days and everyone's having a great time. Nobody wants this trip to end, but as strange things start to happen, Frida begins to question her reality. Mm -hmm. Something is wrong with this place. It is. She'll have to uncover the truth if she wants to make it out of this party alive. Well, here's what happens first. So she meets him at this gala. You know, she's working, but she's not working because she's watching him. She's peeking out the door watching him because he's all fine and, you know, all prestigious and all this stuff. So he invites her and other girls who are equally appear to be just stupid, invites them to his island. Now, if Channing Tatum came up to me, Jules, we're out, and he invites me and says, hey, hi. I'm already, I'm already, he already had me. You're high. already smitten. I'm already and, smitten. And you've been talking for a while yeah. at the party. Yeah. yeah. And he comes up and invites me to an island? Why would I say no? Oh, probably because I don't know anybody here and you shouldn't be hopping on a plane with some men that you don't know. But at the time, like you said, you're all giggly and you know, he's all good looking and all these people are all fancy around here. Why not? That would be the time of your life. Why would you say no to that? That's a once in a lifetime chance. Go. Except you shouldn't have. And this this movie explores. It got creepy in here. Creepy to the point where I was like, oh my gosh, Channing Tatum is so good in this role. I do not like him. I do not like his character. He is a, I don't know, predator is what you would call these men. See, I felt like an old lady watching this. I'm like, Shh, jump on the plane. I mean, on one hand, that's cool, but then I'm thinking about it. I'm much. thinking about I gotta go get my medicine. Yeah, like make some clean underwear. Some something. something. Even if I didn't get clothes, I'd have to go home because I have asthma and get my medicine. They had nothing. They had with nothing. Them. They just jumped on the plane. But the purse and the dress that they and were in. They're partying real hard, and I'm thinking, this is the old lady and me again. <laughs> They're just, you want to try this drug? Yeah. Sure. And I'm thinking if you wake up the next morning and you're like something, as Keith Sweats would say, something, 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 something just, just ain't, ain't right. right. Maybe the next night you don't do those drugs and you try to see, see what's going, what's really going on. Funny. Like I'm still on this island. I'm still partying. I'm waking up weird stuff is going on with my body you know, and I'm not understanding where this stuff is coming from. Yeah. Or what? I'm not understanding anything, but you know what? Let me just party it some more. Just party it away. That's the, you know, that's me. The, you know, yeah. I'm not just going to keep partying, though. Maybe I'll have a drink or something, but I'm not going to yeah. keep putting these drops of, what was it? I don't know what the drops were, somebody. but she, yeah. I remember she, it was like a they, mixture showed, of stuff. they showed it. It was like this big. And I'm like, the ration would come, like what you just said, the ration would come after I was probably already on the plane and at the point of no return. <laughs> Now the ration comes in. I wake up. What did I just do? I don't know anybody here. I don't know these men. Just because he's, you know, on TV or has his company and prestigious, doesn't mean anything. He has money, which means I can kind of do some stuff that most average people can't do. But that's, that's, you would have to be the rational one for us, Jules, and be like, Tommy, yeah, I'm shake too, his hand. We're not rational going. for this. We're not going. Or it would be just a different type of movie. It would be. Yeah. Or if it was he, like if it was somewhere here where we live at. Yeah. It would be. I would be more apt to go. Yeah. But I'm not hopping on. I'm saying a plane. even if we were caught in that situation, mm -hmm. it would. It would. Me be. and you would be on. We would be. The, we would be like just like I ain't gonna tell too much in the movie, but we would be the vengeful ones. Like oh yeah, let me go find a machete in this house, machete in this house. <laughs> 
the Joel, final Joe weapon. Yeah, we were, I and I totally want to be a final girl so bad. And I'll talk about that another time. We're gonna actually do a show, talk about what we what what roles would you play if you were in like a horror movie. We'll talk about that later. But this will make me a final girl, and I will be a badass. I think Jules. I think you can handle it. I think you could handle it being a final girl. We'd be the final two I girls, can but it. I could handle it. Okay. I would. Have, I would be that final girl because I'm too rational for that. <laughs> Uh, okay. Any extra scenes? Oh, no. no, there's no extra scenes. They wanted to to wrap it up, which I thought they did very nicely. Mm-hmm. They wanted to because they're not planning to make another one. It, this yeah, is it, it. like it should have. They wanted to just wrap it up and give everybody an answer. I don't like when they leave stuff open ended. Like leave it up to you. No, I want to know, know what, what you thought when you wrote ended. it. And, and then I could even say, well, it could have went this way. It could have, but I want to know what you thought. Mm-hmm. And this movie right. wraps it up. It so, was nice. Nice nice little bow at the end. Yeah. In June of 2021, Kravitz, Clo- uh, Zoe Kravitz, revealed her plans to make her directorial debut with the film, the script of which she co-wrote with E.T. Hey. Uh, Feigenbaum? Thank you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I was like, oh, I don't know if I want to take that. <laughs> On August 21st, 2024, two days prior to release, Amazon MGM issued a trigger warning across all their social media accounts. Mm-hmm. The warning, which is shown before the U.S. theatrical release, states, Blink Twice is a psychological thriller about yes. the abuse of power. While this is a fictional movie, it contains mature themes and depictions of violence including sexual violence that was There's good. Like a flash of the sexual violence but you can see but it is you know yeah, exactly what's what's going on and i'm glad they put this uh trigger warning they had in to there. do that after uh that other movie with with uh blake lively it ends here something like that the so, other movie that's out right now they so something happened in that movie where they so, needed to yeah put. i haven't seen that one i thought about seeing it but something happened in that movie and people were complaining because there was no trigger warning. So they put a trigger warning on that one and they in turn put a trigger warning on this one. It's good because you don't, I mean, watching the previews, um, I wouldn't have known that there was yeah, going to be didn't give that, away much, that much. Yeah. That much of, uh, like, I didn't know he was going to be so dang on freaking weird and, and bizarre. But yeah. I'm glad they put that in there. Uh huh. Because um, people do have triggers, especially even with plays, like anything people watch. Um, I've placed they'll put a sign up in the front similar to this letting you know that you know because I've I've been at a play Mm -hmm. two of the women the play had it had to do with sexual violence and it was like really bad sexual violence we didn't act you know it wasn't acted out on stage but it was insinuated and you could two women that I know had to walk out because they just couldn't even listening to it you know listening to the you know, sexual violence or whatever's going on in there, you could hear it. You, I felt like I needed a trigger warning for that movie about the rainbows and or whatever with the kid with the man who threw his kids out the window. That's that's the one. Oh my gosh! Yeah. I think I needed a trigger. Oh my warning gosh! For that. It's the same play. Y'all were all, let's go, let's go see this movie. It'd be great. And then I'm in there and that happened. I was like, what the hell kind of movie? Oh my was gosh! It? I like, can't believe you're. We're talking about the same never show, by the way. They usually do stuff like that in movies. Like, what did I do? I was just stunned, and y'all were still like enjoying the movie, and I'm sitting there stunned. Like that. What we are talking about, which is actually a play first, is called For Color Girls Who Consider Suicide. Slash when the rainbow is enough by Intazaki Shange, who actually just passed away a few years ago. But the play is super, super popular, um, very emotional. There's uh, anything you can think of that might be traumatizing for a woman happens in that play. And there are two of those scenarios that are they're very graphic. When you when you're doing a good job in a play, the actors on stage and all you're doing is listening to them and watching them. Your imagination runs in your head. So you're listening to them. And I can see where the triggers will come from for some people just even listening to I, one scene sitting right there on sitting right there on stage and listening to a violent rape that took place and nobody believed her because oh were you wearing something provocative or are you sure you weren't flirting with him you know it was those kind of things that women had to deal with and it's with dealing with sexual violence so it's um, i salute them for putting the triggers and i think it should be done for every movie um it should be there when they're going to purchase tickets because they've been able to do that they they put signs right there to let you know if you're going to see such such movie yeah um, they even let you if know what, strobe lights that's they about to say strobe yeah. lights them mm-hmm. they give you that warning so there's nothing wrong go ahead and put that in there because nobody wants to have to relive 
you don't want to have to relive stuff Some in the trauma. future. Yeah, yeah, you really don't want to have to if you don't have to. So I commend you. I wish everybody would do that. That's all I want to say. So let's okay. talk about... Wait, wait, wait. Okay. Early on when Sorry. Frida is viewing her phone, there's a quick glimpse of a viral video of Lenny Kravitz doing an ab workout in the ah. gym. Lenny Kravitz is the father of Zoe Kravitz, the director slash writer of Blink Twice. She put her daddy in there. Huh. Her look. daddy is still looking look, good. Look at her daddy. I would do it too. If my dad looked like that and he yes. was working out. Go ahead and put and it And I wrote a movie. Plug it. I'd be like. <laughs> Plug it in his. This is my dad though. This is my dad. This is my dad. This is my dad. <laughs> Lenny Kravitz. It's impressive that she wrote this. Yeah. I enjoyed it. And directed it. it. Yeah. I'm going to watch it again. Like not at the theater. Right. When, when it comes, it comes out. out on stream. I'm going to watch it again. And she wasn't even in the movie. No. So she's picking up on background. She's, she's an actress and she's doing some uh, director work and wrote this. I'm impressed. Mm -hmm. I'm impressed that a woman did this and I'm impressed. I, we can't tell you the end, but some of it was satisfactory for me. Some of it, the craziness that took place, the anger that I was feeling because of what some of these men were doing. There's a little bit of reward. Just that's all I'll say. There's a little bit of satisfaction. We got to get some satisfaction somewhere and it did come in. Yeah. So way to go, Zoe, for writing this movie. There's a bit of girl power in there. You don't see it right away because of the situationships. But there's some girl power in this movie. So do another one, Zoe. You can't marry Channing, but I mean, hey, write some more movies and, you know, put them in. That's cool. Bravo, oh, I want to see y'all get married. But it was a great. I enjoyed this movie a lot. I enjoyed it. Very, very much. So I'm going for me. I'm going with a strong three and a half on this one. It was a little different. Um, I love the soundtrack, by the way. Yeah. Did you like the music? There's some disco in there. Yeah. You like the 70s and some 80s music. I'm like, hey, this soundtrack is kind of cool. I wonder how much influence her dad has over her music choices. I'm, I'm curious about that. I'll have to look I it know, up. That's a good question. Mm -hmm. um, I think I'm going to agree with you okay. with the three and a half. Mm -hmm. I'm going with that, too. I really enjoyed it, too. Mm -hmm. it's, you know, it's my type of movie. It's kind of along the lines of other movies I have right. enjoyed in the past. I don't want to say what they were because I don't want to accidentally give a spoiler. I was almost just said the movie that, yeah, that I just almost made me was think about. Say it and you know, I don't like, think that's a spoiler. That's not a spoiler to say it reminded me of, of another movie. I'm not going to do it. Okay, I won't do it then. Because we I already won't do said it. it might be a spoiler. So that's If you've seen it, chat with us and I'll ask you if you thought about the same movie we thought about when we watched this. <laughs> kind of the same, uh, along the lines of the same premises. So we gave our clapper score. Mm -hmm. IMDb is giving it a 7.0 as of today okay. uh, out of 10, which is great. It was pr or pretty good. Okay. Yeah. Uh, out of 10, you know, 7. Rotten Tomatoes. The tomato meter is giving it 79%. That's the critics. Okay. And the audience score, though, is 69%. So maybe they just didn't get it. I know we had a discussion before we yeah, started Yeah, because some of the stuff in there, I was kind of like, you missed some stuff. On. Yeah. So I did. We, we don't usually talk about the movies or our reviews beforehand, but there was a couple of things in here that I wasn't sure on. I'm kind of like, well, what? Yeah. It'll, so, it'll make sense once you watch it. It'll, watching it a second time when I do, even if yeah. um, Jules hadn't told me, I probably would have picked it up then. But you need to pay attention. This is not a movie where you can watch run in the kitchen, make your food, run, yeah. take a quick shot. This isn't one of those movies because if you miss a piece, you're going to wonder what in the heck, what, what, what just happened? What is going on? You yeah. need to sit down and watch this movie because you need to focus. Yeah, I saw it. To. When I saw it, it was the first showing on a Thursday. So, mm -hmm. you know, they always advertise the movies coming out Friday. So mm -hmm. people are at work. People have to get their kids from school and stuff. Right. So nobody was in there. It was just me. So I could focus straight on the movie. Mm -hmm. And yeah. that was great. See, that, I probably would have been able to do that, but I had, you know, I wasn't by myself and a little bit of distractions here and there, but yeah. I need to watch it a second time because there's a few things I wanted to kind of pin on. I'm like, wait, did I just see? Okay. But I'll definitely be watching it again when it streams. Yeah, me too. It was good. I'm, 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 I got to get some girl power. Shout out to, to Zoe, to Zoe Kravitz. I ain't going to hate on you, girl. I'm, I'm. You, you, you're doing a damn thing and your man is fine. So I'm not going to hate on you, but this is a good one. And I'm glad she made it. I hope she makes some more. Yeah. Give us some more of them badass women. Remember, it's rated R. Win. Yeah. Not that I would think that somebody would think about taking their kids to see it. Yeah, this even is nowhere near. if you watch near. it at home or something, you might want to have the kids in another room watching something else. Yeah, absolutely. No, this definitely is not a movie for any child. Just the things that have the sexual violence in here that they warned you about. There, there's no way a kid should be seeing any of that. And that, yeah. again, that's a, you only see a small portion of that. Mm -hmm. 
the rest is them partying and flashbacks, a little yeah, bit of flashbacks just and stuff flashbacks going on. and things like that. Mm-hmm. But even with the other stuff they show too, kids would be a little bit might be a little bit traumatized if you had them watching this. They wouldn't get it for one. Yeah, so yeah. yeah so just true. make sure you stick with the ratings when um, the theaters give the ratings. They are Especially accurate. When it's an R. Yeah, they're usually accurate. Put it that way. Yeah. Because we see so some people, stuff that should have been rated R and it wasn't rated. Yeah. R. They made Deadpool an R. Deadpool and Wolverine and really? people still yeah. There was no sex scenes in there, was it? No, but there's lots of violence and language. Well, that's them. That's what they're about. So people I mean, still take their kids to that, but that's different. This this is a different kind of rated R. Comic book hero. Yeah, this is a different thing. kind of rated R. Yeah. So. yeah, yeah. This is a rated R that really should be strictly adults. It's it, it's it's some scenes in there that might get to you. Yeah. But Zoe. Do the damn thing, girl. Let's get some more movies out there with that girl power ending to it. All right. Well, thank you very much for watching our review of. She had to do it. Blink, Blink twice. twice. <laughs> right? Don't forget that you can reach us on several different platforms. Um, first, we are on Cash App. Any donation is appreciated. You don't have to make a donation to give us any movie requests, but anything is appreciated. We pay for all of our movies, our equipment cameras all that good stuff we pay for that ourselves so any donation is appreciated popcorn um, perks if there is anything you do want to see that you do want us to review that we haven't just let us know it doesn't matter if it's old or new doesn't matter what genre it's from just let us know we'll review the movie shout you out on the show and then there's a few places you can find us at okay so the first one is going to be facebook right it's on facebook all the time yes. uh youtube find us on there and on instagram now on Instagram, if the video is more than 15 minutes long, um, they'll cut us off, but that's okay. All you have to do is like and subscribe on YouTube and go to Facebook, like and follow, and you won't miss any of our movies. That way you don't waste money going to the theater, spending money you mad that you spent on a movie. We're yeah. going to tell you up front. We're going to give you our opinion on the spend movie. Spend it on us, and yes. we'll tell you if you should spend more money. Yeah. Oh, and by the way, with Blink Twice, you would not be mad if you spent full price. Yeah. I, I think it was a very different type of movie. You're a poet. You didn't even know it. Yeah. Oh, you had to say that. <laughs> but I think this would be a cool date movie. This would be a, if, as long as your partner enjoys movies. If they don't enjoy movies, they might not feel this one too much. But I don't go to the movies with people that don't enjoy movies anyways. I usually like going by myself. Yeah. So people are like, <laughs> I know that and bringing kids running around and you know, you mo you're ruining the mood up in here, you mm -hmm, know, mm -hmm. but I regress. I digress. Okay. Well, thank you very much for tuning in and we will see you back soon. Got to be real movie reviews with Tommy and Jules. See you back. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs>